small pinch on either, either side. Plus, if you've been walking around with that, you're a tough guy. Really? Most people, yeah, yeah, you're tough to be walking around with that. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> no, when I when I wear shoes, then it's like pain. It's really bad, right? Yeah, but when I'm wearing shoes, then it's fine. Okay, it's the pressure. It's like, yeah, only when it like something touches it. Then it like. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe down the toe. Let me tilt you back a little bit more. You want me to tilt you back like this, or are you okay? No. I'm so this is how we make it as easy as possible. When you feel the pinch, don't move your foot. What you're gonna do is just push your foot down, just like that, if it really hurts. But I'm telling you, it's a very small pinch, a little bit of sting, and it goes down very fast. Oh. Best thing you just do: breathe, push your foot down if it hurts, and that's it. Oh. Okay. You watch the videos, you've seen them, you know. Yeah. But okay, you'll be okay. You'll be watching okay. the videos is good. <laughs> it's a little bit different. So you just relax. Here we go. Small little pinch. Very good. And just breathe. Well, you're going to have your own video now, so you got to be super tough. You okay? Yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Very good. You okay? Yeah. So you went to the other foot, climate, foot clinic yeah. and it wasn't this bad yet or is it just the exact same? It was the exact same. And she actually tried to cut that part out, huh? Yeah, just that. But she, did she talk about the permanent surgery? Yeah, I talked about her but she was saying that first like we will do this for two, three sittings. After that we will see. That's ah, too much. You can't wait that long. Okay, one more side. Here we go. This side's a little harder, so just breathe. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing it really well. Very good job. So she trimmed down the nail twice. Twice, yeah. No numbing, no nothing. Just trying to cut a little bit. You can't really cut too much though, can you? Was it? Was she able to get in there? Uh, really, right? Was she able to cut a lot out or not really? No, she cut like hold the nail from one side to another oh. side. Oh, yeah. did she put you on antibiotics after? No, not uh -huh. even a medicine. Either. No? No. Okay, so that's very important. So I gave you that prescription. You gotta take it. Yeah. It's gonna help with the healing. Yeah. How was the needle? Was it bad? Um, was the needle bad? No, 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 no. no see? <laughs> Normal, not bad. Yeah. yeah, so when we have something like this, doing conservative treatment is very hard because, first of all, when you trim the nail, you're not stopping the nail. Yeah. You'll go back. And because you have all this extra meat that has grown, it's going to keep trapping the nail. Yeah. So like I said, today we'll remove the sides permanently with the acid, then we'll remove that extra meat here or else the toe will always stay like this. You see the meat here? You see where it's dark? Yeah. That will go down and shrink a little bit once we get the nail out. But this tissue has fully formed into hardened tissue, hardened skin. That's pretty much permanent tissue now. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to remove a little bit more so it's sh smaller in size because I know you don't want the size to be like this. No. Okay, very good. Firstly, it was like a little bit from the right side. Then it started going to the left side. Then it's like completely not. You know, very Yeah. And you kept trying to trim it yourself? Is that what you were doing? Yeah. I, I thought that it would be fine after yep. a few days. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's the same. It's same with every patient? Same with everybody, yeah. <laughs> they, everyone thinks hopefully it gets better. Yeah. Some of them even see doctors and they say, soak it, it's going to get better. But sometimes when the skin grows yeah. over, then it's, it's trapped. Out of control. Yeah, it's trapped. Are you going to watch? Or are you going to wait for your video? I will, I will wait for my video. Do you want me to put you back more, tilt you back, or are you okay like this? Sorry? Do you want me to tilt you back more? No, no that's fine. You're I will, fine? I will do like this. Okay, you'll look back. So this is a tourniquet and this is to help reduce the amount of bleeding. And when she was trimming out the nail there was no tourniquet, right? No. She was cutting by the surgical blade. Yeah. Like that one. Oh, she did that way. Gotcha. Yeah. And she just pushed the blade down the corners. Yeah. 
but lots of blood. Yeah, it was bleeding at that time. Yeah. And I'm sure, like you said, she must have gotten a good big piece that way, using the blade. Yeah. But if you don't take antibiotics, if you don't get the swelling down, it just grows right over the nail. So, you just relax. We're gonna do one little check. Anything sharp here? No. Anything sharp here? No. So first we're gonna do the ingrowns and then we're gonna remove all the skin. Yeah. Pain down here? No. So what I want to do, I just want to remove just this easy bad stuff so I can see a little bit better the nail. Yeah, yeah that, that, the nail is completely, completely trapped. No way of getting few, out. Few days before, I cut that nail and it was like completely out. But then it started growing again. Yeah, it, it is so, <laughs> so wide. Okay. So now we're going to trim out the bad part. No pain? No. Good. So now, oh you're watching now, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is the good part. Look at all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, See, there's no even space. It's completely covered. Yeah, that's why it's not healing. No. There's no way that can get out. Mm. It's completely trapped. Let's go with this side. Same thing here. Yeah. Very wide. Yeah. So the nail is going to be a little bit narrower afterwards, but no more ingrown. So it's numb, then it's fine. But it, when it's not numb, it, it's going to pain a lot. It's going to be sore yeah. for definitely the first day. Or maybe two days. It's really because I'm trimming off this extra skin that's going to be a lot more sore than normal. Mm. I'm checking to make sure there's no piece left behind. So as you can see, there was still a lot. I don't see where the cut was made. It was... Mm. Look how deep this goes. So deep. Mm. Okay, so I'm drying the area out so we can put the acid in there. So I'll try to keep the foot the best we can here. I know it's not easy. Look at that. Yeah. Much drier now, right? Yeah. Let me just... Okay. So, what we're doing first is applying the acid. And then we'll remove all that extra skin. But that's how wide the nail is going to be now. Yeah. So a little bit narrower. And this is the acid. This is what's actually stopping the nail from growing on the corners. You okay? I gave you one that tissue. 
I'm burning a tissue, exactly. Look at that, like a kebab. <laughs> yeah. You gonna take a picture? Yeah. Go take a picture, I can see you pulling the phone. That's one tasty kebab. Yeah. <laughs> so, no bleeding right now because we have the tourniquet on. Okay. When that comes off, it's gonna be bleeding. After the stick? Oh, this rubber. After the rubber comes off. Oh. Because I'm going to be taking off the skin. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen? Every couple hours, you're probably going to have to change the bandage and put a new one on for the first day. Okay. So I would sleep with a plastic bag on your foot tonight. So <laughs> put on a plastic bag and then okay. put a sock on top so it holds the plastic bag in a nice shape. Okay. But do not be afraid and it's completely normal for the full day, 24 hours. Okay. Then the bleeding will stop and it'll look more normal and within one week the sides will look pretty flat it'll heal very quickly you take your antibiotics yeah i'll go and buy it right now bad boy <laughs> give it to you last week <laughs> but now it's very very important okay yeah. so again i'm really making sure we kill the sides so we don't get any more problems that's all done. So now, removing the ingrown is finished. And now we're gonna do the skin. So let me dry this area up. Very good. So this is what's really gonna help you reduce the shape of the toe, if not, it might close up a little bit, but it's still gonna have this ball yeah. at the top. So this is the scary part, but again, shouldn't feel anything. I'm not gonna see Oh, you say that, but then you're watching. <laughs> you're not gonna watch yeah, it, but I'm you're not watching. watching I'm not watching. Again, we just want the sh the toe to heal in a better shape. Oh. Because that's extra skin, right? That's extra skin. So this will heal flatter, especially at the top, and everything will shrink in. You okay? Yeah. You didn't puke. You didn't throw up, so that's good. But this really helps make a difference. Yeah. If the tissue was very soft mm. and fluffy like it was in here in the corners, then we would just scrape it and let the sides be but because this has been so long that the side has really changed yeah it's like double your toe <laughs> it has right it's a different shaped toe now yeah right there you go on this one <laughs> you okay yeah How does that make you feel looking at it? Okay. There you go. So 
what I'm doing is I'm applying a little bit of electricity to kind of cauterize it so there's a little bit less bleeding but like I said it's still going to bleed quite a bit but that's completely normal when we take off this much skin. That. It helps reduce some of the bleeding. Oh. It won't stop it. You okay? Yeah. This is the tough part. This is gonna bleed once I take off this blue rubber band. So, before you go to bed today, yeah. you're gonna take everything off okay. and you're gonna rewrap it. Okay. It might be too hard to put on the cream because how much blood it is. So that's normal, just wrap it up again. Okay. Put a plastic bag on your foot, put a sock on. Tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up, there'll be blood in, in that area. Take it off, okay. rinse the foot, dry it, put on a new dressing. Okay. And like do this for one full day, it's gonna be bleeding, you change, take it off, put it on. All that, okay? Yeah. But it's completely normal. So I'm gonna wrap up the toe a little bit first before I take the tourniquet off. You thought you had a big toe before, now look at it. Oh. <laughs> no, it's bigger than that. <laughs> so like I said, you're gonna see blood on this toe. Okay. It's normal. You just take everything off later tonight okay. and put it on again. Okay. Gauze and wrap it. No, no, what I want is. Can you check like there is... Oh geez, the flick went all over there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next time you come in, we'll definitely take more look to put it on there just because I want you to get home as soon as you can. This one, very curved as well. Nothing's happening now, but you see how the corners are so short? short? You gotta let the corners grow forward and go up and over the skin. Oh, that's good. Yes, but because you're not having pain now, we, next time we come in, we should be putting that brace, or not the brace, we should be putting on that band it's called the Ani Fix to help hold the nail in a better lifted position okay. and as it grows out, lessen the skin. Okay. okay, and we can do that next time you come in. Okay. 